everyone, and welcome back to day two of Adobe Live. I'm Lindsay Monroe, and I will be hosting alongside the lovely Sarah. Woohoo! Sarah? Sarah Raj, yeah. Sarah, Sarah Raj. <laughs> um, welcome. We are, yesterday we did some sweet wireframe work, mm -hmm. and we are back with a whole bunch of visual content today, yeah. Yeah. But I think for some of you, maybe you tuned in yesterday, but for those who didn't, maybe we should get them up to speed on what we're working on. Sure. Yeah. Um, do we do a run through of where we're at? Yeah, sure. Well, first of all, like what what are we creating? Yeah. So we're creating a app for specifically um, pregnant women and kind of like assessing where they are in their pregnancy and then building recipes based on which uh, what period they are on their pregnancy. So for instance, if they're nine weeks in, they're always curious to know what kind of food they should eat and they're very curious and want to educate themselves as well. Like, is it good? Is it bad? Uh, a lot of it like research. So this is making an app that's like aggregate content where it's like easier to access and you're keeping tab of like what um, what you're eating, is it good, what are the values, is it nourish, nourishing your baby and yourself, uh, whoever's pregnant. So this is a, a very um, visual app which we're going to be creating today. It's really a guide to what you mm -hmm. can and cannot eat. Like I've been around a lot of pregnant ladies in the last year. I became an aunt twice <laughs> in the last year, which is amazing. And it's, you know, it's it's always tricky. It's like, can you eat that soft cheese? Yeah. Sushi, go, no go. You're not quite sure. So yeah. this app, I, it seems like it will not only advise the consumer on mm -hmm. uh, the nutrition, but also what you can and can't too so yeah super useful mm -hmm. it's actually solving the problem which yeah. is at the heart of UX we've got folks tuning in from all over we got Brazil and Boston where are you guys tuning in for from we'll look out for it in the chat um, we have a lot to cover today yeah. and one of the things that we talked about was uh, names for this app so we all the viewers yesterday gave us a ton of amazing suggestions. We have three names and we're gonna get you guys to vote on that shortly. But um, to start, I think we should talk about what we plan on covering today. So yesterday, mm -hmm. all about wireframes. Yeah, What's so yesterday that? was, let me zoom in there real quick. Um, oh, London, Ontario, Canada in the house. I grew up very close to there. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> So. Um, this is my handle uh, real quick, so anybody who wants to sort of like collaborate, talk about design, I will be accessible on these. Um, Gotta go follow our girl Sarah on Twitter. <laughs> Um, so yesterday we went through process, design process, what the brief was, and then we went through sketches and wireframe, really, you know, low fidelity wireframe, just like throwing in stuff and then being able to um, uh, found, like create grid systems so that we can go and work on content today. So today we're going to be getting into um, more of the visual aspect of it. So bringing that to life, uh, thinking about brand colors and incorporating that into our work. So we're Do going we still need to decide on colors? Because yesterday, mm -hmm. we were, it was a little up in the air. Yeah. We got some suggestions mm -hmm. from the audience. Yeah, so it would be really nice. So I have uh, sort of like a color palette in mind, but I think it would be really great if you know the audience can give me color suggestions. So right now, what I'm going to do is that go in and fill in all the content, and then we'll work backwards, and then we'll go do color. We'll go adjust things. The I still need a logo uh, for the app, so that'll be great as well. If you know, if you guys can come up with like great logos, we can incorporate that into our work. And then we already got one cool logo. We yesterday. did. Yeah. So I'm really interested to see you know what people sent through today. Yeah. So yeah. we still need a logo. We need an app name. And and then colors would be good, and then we can start like incorporating all of that. Um, but to get started, I think I'm gonna go sort of finesse and then add in the content so that that's good. And as we're, you know, as you guys are going to be giving us color name, uh, voting for the name, I think it will be, um, it will make sense to kind of go back and then do it. There's a, a couple other things too that we have going on. On top of all of this great design work, we have a chat and win, which mm -hmm. happens about 25 minutes from now. Um, so be sure to leave your comments in the chat. We are giving away, do you want to pass that bag yeah. over? You can, you can show it off. Oh, wow, it's this awesome. is a lovely bag, It's a you little XD pouch for all of your things. If you have a lot of cords in your life, if you're living that dongle life that comes stuffing. with the new MacBooks, um, very helpful. Really yeah. 
keep all your cords organized. A lot of patterns, a lot of XD colors. A lot of XD, XD pink up in yeah. there. Um, and we also have a sticker. A sticker. Um, I don't think, I think it'll take you a while to match my sticker collection of XD. There's there's actually some really rare exclusive ones on oh, my, really? my laptop, in case yeah. you guys are wondering. Oh, oh yeah. It's <laughs> a lot of nice, oh wow, yeah. It's a lot of great stuff. Might have to slip a couple your way before <laughs> you leave, but anyway. This sticker, that this pouch, pad. get in the chat, give us your color suggestions. Make sure you vote on the name when it's time. Stay tuned for that. Um, oh, Val's actually dropping the names in the chat, so let's do this. Oh yeah. We've got, we've got, we were given a whole bunch of names yesterday. We had a little chat mm -hmm. after the stream to determine which is the one. So Noma, which is like a combination of Nom and Mama. Mama? Yeah. Is like, Nama, Nama. It's good. I like that one. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, Nourish, Nourish, Nourish is a good one. And first meal. Yeah, we actually had so. a lot of people plus oneing on first meal. Um, yeah, it was good though. Yeah. So, jump in the chat. Type out your favorite of the three: Nama, Nourish, first meal. And we're gonna eyeball it and figure out like what is coming to the top. So yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. And did, wait, I didn't mention the design challenge either. That no. Also, that's also like this whole other thing we have going on. Just in case you guys haven't already, you know, if we haven't asked enough of you, um, we have a design challenge happening uh, and we're going to, we have a great prize. Go into the challenge tab at the top of the chat and we're asking you to do a three screen mobile app around a carnival. It's that's carnival exciting. season. Yeah. So, wow. yeah, really exciting. I'm very, I'm very excited to see what uh, people are going to come up with. Carnivals are so fun. It's yeah, such a it's fun like, theme to play with. It's vibrant. It's energetic. It's mm -hmm. lively. All the good stuff. And there's stock assets that we've provided, so you can start to oh, work cool. those in. And it, you know, just nobody loves a blank canvas. That's it's a true. Good way to get started. Yeah. Um, yeah. Summer carnivals. Whoa. Nama is like <laughs> really. Oh. So really? it has like a I think I think we have the name. <laughs> I think, but keep keep throwing in wow. your suggestions in the chat. We wanna we'll still give it a little bit of time because we want you guys to see what we've done so far to really like understand if it's the ideal name. Yeah. But Nama. I Nama. Think it's, it's you know, it's the interwebs and the love of the word nom. Nom. Yeah. It's like somebody Matthias is like nom 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 nom. nom, nom, nom. nom. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's jump into XD and get going. Awesome. We have a lot to do. Yes. And, uh, you know, our couple hour stream seems like a lot, but. Mm -hmm. So, quick overview of what you uh, did, just like from a design perspective yesterday. Yeah, so this was basically going in and building ad content. So, I had a little lorem ipsum in um, so that I know what is the content I want to go put it in. So, on top. So this first screen really captures the state that the user would be in. So like the stage yeah. of pregnancy. Yeah. So one thing is that um, this is part of a larger ecosystem. So um, and and nutrition is just like one module in it. So we're only doing one module in an app. Um, so when they we will be build, building out uh, the global navigation system today. But uh, one of it is at nutrition when they land on. So this is their landing page on nutrition. Um, they go over and they see what week they're on, um, you know, nine weeks, 12 weeks, um, whatever week they're on. Um, and then it gives you content uh, referring to like, you know, what is the essential things that you need to be eating? How is your baby developing? Um, and all that good stuff. And Turns that. out your nutritional needs change over time. Yeah. Um, and uh, under it is daily recipes where it's suggestions on whatever week you're on. Um, so it divides into like cold dishes, hot dishes, and different sort of um, recipes under that. And then you have the name of the dish, and then whether it's high on potassium, magnesium, whatever uh, vitamins uh, is required. And then we're gonna go fill in with little cute iconography there. And it also clearly says um, how many minutes uh, does it take to um, you know build or cook. cook. Yeah. yeah, prepare. Cook. Yeah, one of the things for me is that I my deciding factor for cooking uh, anything is that if it's less than twenty minutes, it's a win. It's a win. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so, but unless it's a Sunday, that's what we kind of talk yeah, about. Like, yeah, yeah. It's the day where you can you know cook a lot yeah. and prep a lot. Mess of around meals. in the kitchen a yeah. little bit. Um, Depends who you are, but yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go put in um, you know minutes there. But so today we're gonna go add visuals, add iconography. Um, some of the content would be um, 
not very accurate. So I'm gonna just like but add in like 20 minutes that you know, as we're going, we'll go over and update those, but it's going, all of this is going to become very visual at the end of right. it. Yeah. Even if every recipe takes 22 minutes to make, yeah. and that may be not the reality of everything, mm -hmm. you guys will get a sense from the general design what's up. What's up. Yeah. So we got the stage of pregnancy, the next screen. Is the nutrient section. So this one, I actually built it out, but uh, I was very excited about the oh. repeat grid. So I wanted to show you guys uh, the repeat get grid and um, so this section is basically a list of nutrients um, and prenatal vitamins so it's like proteins magnesium and we're gonna build that out um, it's a list so as people are going in if they click on protein um, they're going to see a you know why is protein important how is it going to be uh, better for the kid better for the development of the kid better for the mom how are we nourishing the mom and the kid uh, uh, the baby sorry um, so kind of the importance of that content um, and then recipe classification you know what are the different types of um, food that are going to be good and so it's like more categorizing like subcategorizing so for instance if it's tofu and then we click on tofu it's going to give you a list of all the recipes that are uh, made out of tofu um, which we'll get into interactions uh, later um, so, yeah. so like theoretically, if we built out this whole app, this screen could have vegetables and yeah. then maybe the types of vegetables and then you dig in a little deeper and you not only get recipes, but also nutritional breakdown. Yeah. This is, this would be a huge app, uh -huh. it, like in its an entirety. Yeah. So I'm glad we've honed in on, on proteins. They are very important. Yes. You know? Yeah. The, the building blocks of muscle. Yeah. There we go. Uh, oh, so good. Guys, I still want to see your suggestions for names. I think, <laughs> I think Nama might. Nama. Like it. So Nama, nutri Nourish, and First, first meal. meal. Those are the three. Yeah. Dro you. Drop your thing yeah. in the chat. We need your votes, you guys. Keep yeah. voting. So we are working in Adobe XD today. Mm -hmm. um, very exciting. One of the cool things about Adobe XD is that when you're wireframing, um, they also have a lot of different um, you know, UI kits, which mm. is really great. What I did yesterday is that, um, let me go over this real quick. So you can, they have a lot of UI elements, iconography, color palette, uh, typography, different, you know, header bars, global navigation system. These are really great, um, especially when you are trying to build wires really quick and you don't want to do something from the scratch. It's a very good guide to go in and see what is it that you're uh, wanting to build out um, and then repurpose it. So yesterday we repurposed a bunch of um, I think like the activity fee card. Yeah, yeah, they have like different. Like um, so not necessarily also that you have to, it, it does come under activity feed, but it's not necessarily that you have to only use that for activity feed. You can uh, sort of manipulate it to fit your what you're creating, which is a great thing as well. But these are like a great start to kind of like go in and build that stuff. Yeah, this is the wires UI kit. Uh, you can, if you search wires UI kit on Behance, you can pull it up and download it for free. All also, you can actually access these UI kits within the app. So if you click on file for us, yeah, file and then get UI yeah, kits. Yeah. And then there's a bunch there. You can see there's like the official ones like uh, iOS, Google material and such. Um, the wireframes, that will take you to these, these uh, this blue kit we're looking at now. And there's two versions of that, one for mobile as well as for web and tablet. And then more UI kits will actually take you to a post that includes a whole bunch of UI kits we had developed by top UX designers. Um, and they cover like a lot of different things. Like, yeah. You have a pet sitting. Oh, really? Uh, UI kit. Oh, it's my really gosh. like, so like at its heart, it's an e commerce, yeah. like a uh, service sort of um, UI kit. Yeah. Uh, and that was done by Megan Fisher, who's just amazing. And. Yeah, we've got a bunch. Yeah. Travel UI kit done in Google Material. Oh, and cool. Yeah, so lots of cool stuff you can get in there and play with. Is it as detailed as it is um, on these wires or? The kits range. Um, right. Maybe not quite as detailed, but they really show a really good user flow and lots of reusable components and things that you can use. Right. They tend to be focused to one function, yeah. whereas this covers a wide array of use cases based on screen size. Yeah. These are more like, 
focused on purpose. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. Like the, the, we also have one called Navigo, oh. which is like, uh, it's like a transport UI kit and you can track like a car oh, or that's cool. different things like is that. Is it like an Uber sort of version? I mean, I didn't drop that brand name, but you <laughs> could say it would be like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Oh, Arturo, I'm glad you're enjoying those UI kits. They really do help you kick off your designs quick. Yeah, they even apparently have a uh, crypto coin. Oh, yeah, the UI. cryptocurrency. That's cool. Oiken Yilmaz did that one for us. He is also a star. Oh, we, we've wow. been really lucky to work with some amazing designers like Sarah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. All right, so where were we? Cool. So we were walking through the screens that we have yeah. all sorted. And then, so when we click on one of the recipe component, it's going to bring you up to this page where there's going to be this large imagery uh, of what the recipe is. And then it's going to uh, divide into like, how many servings can it, um, you know, can it actually like, so if it's like three servings, four servings, how many people can eat that? Uh, it gives you the cooking time um, and then how many minutes it's going to actually take to cook your dish and how, how many uh, minutes or uh, is it going to prep your dish? Um, so we're and gonna, those things matter because sometimes they really minutes do. could be like ah, like five minutes. But the prep, like chopping a million things, yeah, could take a long time. Because so. like a lot of our decisions are based on like how fast or how uh, you know time consuming it's going to be. That's right. a, a massive deciding factor as well. So it, it's very. Um, I wanted to be able to sort of have it in the forefront. So when we are going through. Uh, people can easily, as a navigational system, also like hierarchy of information. You are able to see how many minutes, like what's the ingredient, how to cook it, and mm -hmm. then like go ahead and cook it. Um, and then right below that, we're gonna have ingredients. We got a shout out for the little heart and the oh, bookmark. Yeah. It's so good, right? <laughs> it's so good. It's very yeah. cute. Um, so good. And then we have uh, ingredients, and then how to cook it, uh, how to cook the recipe. And then the last um, tab is that it's can I eat. So a lot of it is that, you know, when when people are pregnant they, or, you know, on certain dietary restrictions as well, they are always curious to know, is it something that's good for them? Is it, are they going to be allergic? There's so many questions that people have when it comes to food especially. And then that, you know, everybody's wanting to be um, or more aware of like a healthy lifestyle, it's true. It's true. Um, counting calories. Um, so the last section is can I eat? And that's more informational of like how, like what are the things that they can eat? Mm -hmm. um, and then, so we're going to, so I wanted to actually, if we have time to, um, as we go over all of the screens, if we have time when we come here, uh, I wanted to take another pass at it. Um, one of the things is that when you're also wireframing and doing a lot of sketches, um, as you're also researching, and as you're, you know, think, getting inspiration, a lot of the decisions uh, also change during this process. And it, this is a more, you know, it's a creative process where we're going to be looking at a lot of things, adding colors, taking out certain com components, um, and all of that good stuff. But in throughout this design, well, you didn't have an ex extensive user research period or anything like that because, you know, that's the nature of these kinds of yeah. streams. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> um, you're still taking the user experience into consideration first, yeah. right? So, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's always about the users, um, and then the users should be priority and at the forefront when you're actually designing these apps because uh, it's one thing to design for yourself, right? So what you like uh, is not necessarily what Lindsay's like so but when we are going to be researching and talking to a lot of people that's when you generate personas is very important uh, and then being able to pull in information and see what the pain points are and then you know building so users are always priority uh, when you're designing the app yeah. and that's that's really truly the approach we've taken with Adobe XD as a platform which is kind of funny you know it's, yeah. it's sipping our own champagne and and really not only working with designers like you but right. um, our users to contribute to making this app better so if you guys are using Adobe XD and want to see a, a feature jump on over to user voice so that's yeah. adobexd.uservoice.com where you can go and submit features upvote feature requests yeah. and 
track feature progress, see where we're at. Yeah. It's always exciting when you get that email that a feature that you requested or upvoted is Which in the app. Actually, we released a feature yesterday. We did, two. Well, two actually, features. we, we yeah. actually released more than two, but there was two that the community was super hyped about. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk, talk about them? Yeah, so one of it is fixed elements where um, now you have the ability while prototyping to fix any element and you can scroll, which is really great. So if you have a you know top navigation system and you wanted it to scroll underneath, so you can actually do that, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other one is the overlay. Um, now you can uh, sort of like uh, build these interactions where it will overlay before we didn't have the opportunity to do that. And now XD has. It just saves you from designing a ton of artboards with yeah. the overlay functionality. That's that's and it also shows like a very clean user experience. Yeah, like it emulates more what the app experience would be without having to create a whole bunch of artboards. Which is Amazing. Okay, so oh. we've gone through the six artboards that we're going to add visuals yes. to today. Um, I mean, it looks like you've identified some colors. Already, yeah. Which is so good. just like preliminary colors that I wanted to uh, start interjecting. Um, and as you know, our audience are going to be giving a suggestion. Um, we can like reformat that. But I think in order to get started and move on to the next phase, I think it'll be really good to define certain colors um, and then move forward mm -hmm. so um, so you know we're going through this process we're designing this app we're going to prototype the app and then in you know if, let's say you wanted to go off and build this app uh -huh. you have the ability to create a thing called design specs which you can share out with a developer so I know there were some questions in the chat around okay like what do you do once you have this app yeah like ready to go you really do want to pass it over to a developer or take that on if you also have coding skills which is actually not that uncommon um you can use design specs to help you yeah. uh, look at that. And maybe tomorrow, we'll see how far we get with everything. We can play around with what design specs will look like. Yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, um, before handing off to you know dev developers, we want to make sure that you have all of your visual language, your branding, everything in place, because it's very essential um, before they get started as well, because you are defining what the product should feel uh, should be like, feel like, the entire experience of it. And it's easier for them to, when they get started, to have all of that in a place where it's ready to go and it's just build time. Mm -hmm. So, um, you And you too, because as a designer, you don't want to have to ha go back and yeah. like, know, like, at least this way you can safely feel like your vision is being executed. That's yeah. another big thing with the yeah. prototyping. Um, and then also when you're ha working with like other designers, it's also easier to sort of, when you're um, handing over files, um, it's easier to uh, have that predefined to a state. So if a new designer comes on board and you're, you know, it's a, they're on a new project, uh, you're, they're able to pick up from where, you know, anybody's left off. So it's easier as well. Awesome. Cool. All right. All right. So one of the things I'm going to, quickly jump into before getting to visuals that um, uh, for people who are joining in uh Right now, um, one of the things is that I got super excited about this repeat grid. <laughs> People love repeat grid. Um, Shout out in the comments if you love repeat grid. Yeah, you guys. Um, so repeat grid is very simple. Um, you know, if you have a list of information, what you're going to do is that create a basic sort of. Um, Framework. So we have this is where we're going to go add iconography in, and then you know determining what that is, and then we're going to have like a simple navigation system. So I don't know whether you can group it and then repeat grid. Um, so you can either group it or even without grouping, you select can it. Uh, select all of what you want it to be repeated, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go here on the right hand side, and there's repeat grid. And then once you click on repeat grid, there's going to be a green bounding box with a scroller um, below. So all you got to do is pull Bam. it. We're going to zoom out there. Um, Proteins for days. It's so exciting. <laughs> this is this I can never like. This is the most. I mean, I get so excited by these little <laughs> things. Um, Eat sleep repeat grid. I love it. <laughs> And so good. We can also adjust the spacing. Yes, the padding. Yeah. 
and then it's going to go, so however you want it, you can go and adjust. And these can be well. used in all sorts of ways. Like this is an obvious use case where you have a list of elements, but yeah. you can even, we've seen people, because we don't have a dotted line functionality, mm -hmm. create a single circle and then use your peak grid to create a dotted line and then you can shrink the padding. Um, really any series of elements that you want to see repeated in a sort of um, logical way. Yeah. yeah. Which is really so That's what it's for. Great. So I'm going to go in and start adding the things that I want to list out now. All right. Cool. I'm going to cut copy paste here so I get my spellings right. So you, you could actually highlight that group of text and drop it in. Did oh, you know that? Oh, yeah. No. I thought okay. it was only for imagery. Okay. So all I, think, I do is. Um, you know what? It may be because it's not in a CSV file. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to select and then and just drop it in. Uh, click on the, highlight the word, and then control V. Let's try that. Oh, Ooh. no, it didn't work. OK, I think I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Is it because? I think it's because it needs to be in a CSV file, like a comma uh, separated, like from an Excel sheet or something. Oh, really? It can be Perhaps. like from a note sort of. Let's, I'm curious. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll figure it's it out. okay. Okay, so go in and fill in our info. But yeah, if you have like a, a spreadsheet full of information, you can copy and paste the text right in. Yeah. Save it as a text. Yeah, if we have it in like a, that's okay. Not to worry. We got to see repeat grid in action. We can't have all of the <laughs> features, all the all the XD magic in one day. <laughs> yeah, it's dragging the whole file. That's what it is. There we go. That. This is why we have these amazing folks on here. How's our uh, natal vitamins? Yeah. Is that our next subtitle? What happens if. Oh! There should be. Oh! oh. Double click on it. Because you can isolate the object. Oh. What is it? If you can, like, double click on the icon underneath like, and isolate it and then delete it. No, it does. Because oh, you should be able to break the link to the symbol. Oh, double click again. Try now. Try deleting that. Now. Oh, weird. Yeah. That's okay. Let's kind of ungroup the grid. Maybe that's what it is. There mm -hmm. we go. So we gotta ungroup it before. Is it chat and wind time? Almost. Almost. Two minutes. Two minutes to chat and wind time. How are, I wonder how everybody's doing with the chat and wind. <laughs> Two minutes to chat and win. Throw your comments in there. We are giving away this lovely XD inspired pouch. Perfect for all of the wires, cords, things. If you are using one of these new MacBooks like me, um, you probably have a million dongles that you have to oh, travel yeah. with. Um, also, if you're a big fan of using a mouse, we have like a trackpad superstar over here, but. And there is a sticker that goes along with this. So you'll be able to wrap your love of XD. I think I'm just gonna leave that pouch up there as like our little on display. Yeah, I don't right. know if you can see the little XD logo baked right into that fabric is pattern. It? Yeah, it's pretty great. It's, oh, this is designed by Janine Morrison. Oh. Um, for those who aren't familiar, Janine Morrison does these like beautiful textiles like this one you're actually seeing. Um, she uses uh, Adobe tools to draw out patterns and things like that and then has them printed on fabrics and those are used for all sorts of things. And then you said these are screen printed, right? Scre yeah, I believe these are screen printed. And then she also does coloring books. You might have seen her, uh, like adult coloring books. Um, great. <laughs> the sticker, everybody's like, I need everybody's a sticker. Everybody's in the sticker.
So the other cool thing is, is this is a good time to jump in um, in the last like few seconds to just be like, I want Nama, I want Nourish, oh, yeah. I want First Meal. What name do you want this app to have? Let okay. us know, folks. I want to really quickly show you guys. I'm waiting for you guys. Uh, oh. We gotta. We need to put a logo. Waiting for it. And then we gotta put a product name in. So go in and get it done, you guys. I'm excited to oh, see. Oh, fireworks! Oh. That means it's chat and win time. Woo! We are about to do cool. a giveaway. Member Nama. back from the hype time we are going to be giving away this lovely bag designed by the fabulous janine morrison and a sticker so you can show off your xd love by way of cord bag yeah pouch pouch everything and it's like a pretty big bag too you can put a lot of those stuff in so yeah i just like great. that's why i'm like it's like never ending it's like, it's like i need to get myself one of these put my charger cord in there yeah i'll be really dongle really mouse all the things you can be you like can the tech bag toss it in my backpack so it's organized my backpack otherwise is just like was like all your cords on cords <laughs> on cords <laughs> this might actually help organize my life a little bit so good. actually i have my backpack and it's just like my app, I mean, uh, my phone wires and my computer wires, it's just like, yeah, it'll be really great to yeah. have it. I'm also like always at conferences and things and yeah. I have little charger batteries and all of those knickknacks that, you know, tech excess. All right. People really are into the sticker. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know what's crazier is like my laptop going on here or this. Woo! And we have your space theme. It's pretty good. Your space yeah. theme kind of blends oh, yeah. in with the fireworks. Oh, it looks wow. really good. It's very, it's very colorful. sharp. <laughs> it's very good. All right. And the winner is, wait for it. L L Lala Lori. Lala Lori. Lori. You are Lori. getting this a fantastic bag to be used for all the things. And the sticker. Don't the forget sticker. the sticker. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Yay, congrats, Lala, Lori. So good. <laughs> You're going to love it. Stickered. Cool. Um, is there a way on XD where I can drop a color? I can't wait. With the eyedropper tool. But Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you're going to go put in some random colors in here. Wow, it's starting to, this thing is starting to come to life. Uh, was there a reason behind choosing solid colors for the different um, nutrients? Um, it's just that also it's for, you know, the mother and baby, and it's more a livelier um, sort of app. So we want to bring in a lot of, we don't want it to be too uh, minimalistic. Minimalistic is great, and like less color is great too, but mm -hmm. this we have to keep in mind uh, the audience that we're actually building it to as well. Um, so kind of trying to make it fun, um, engaging. So these are just preliminary colors. I'm still waiting on the colors from <laughs> you guys. Well, we talked a little yesterday <laughs> about this, but where do you guys source your colors from? Yeah, I'm always like curious, like, is there a certain... You guys using Adobe tool? Color at all? We also, there's Adobe Capture, where you can like grab color palettes from real environments, like from the real world. People are excited about the giveaway still. <laughs> We have the design challenge going on. You know, we have 55 minutes left. Go design a three screen mobile app that's yeah. carnival themed. Do they win this thing? No, they, I believe there's a year of creative class. Oh, that's, up for grabs. that's exciting. Um, all the contest details are in the challenge tab by the chat. Yeah, so Adobe Capture is amazing. Um, you can do a bunch of different things with Capture, including vectorizing objects. So, oh yeah, I did use it. It's really great when you want to want to, you know, make quick iconography. You like 
um, on a notepad, you're gonna like draw and then take a picture and then you can control the sort of the intensity or the sharpness um, mm -hmm. of the line as well. It's really great. Yeah. Um, you guys should download it. It's really great. You should download it. And it also, it saves everything you create to your Creative Cloud libraries. So when you launch Illustrator or XD or what have you, you'll have what you've created right there. And your library is ready to go. <laughs> have a good dog walk there, Arturo. He's going to walk his space pig, <laughs> AKA his bulldog. bulldog. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. It's great. So good. Material oh, data is a good one. Color. Good that makes sense. It's a good color, color reference. Yeah. Source. If you guys have any palettes that you would like to see come to life here, um, the other thing you can do is like, since you have this established color palette, it's really easy for you to edit and update your colors across yeah. the, your artboards. All you have to do is go to the colors, you right click on them. Ooh. And uh, yeah. so, so if we were if to click add, on the yellow, for instance, and right click on it, you can get put, click edit. And then if you start just moving around for a sample, you'll see that across your artboards, it should be, is it because it's, I think it's not grouped or? Oh, is it, you know what, it's probably because it's not, oh, there it is. It's because those are oh, a symbol. Whoa. So anything that's applied as a, because those you created as a symbol. Symbol, yeah. yeah. Or oh. maybe it's because you had those selected when you hit the color. That's probably oh, what happened. What so make that's sure nothing's right. selected. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. If you if nothing's selected and you edit that color, it should apply across This the is airports. great though. So all you have to do is click and then go add in from your colors mm -hmm. panel. Oh, but if so you great. unclick so you're not selecting anything, like no artboards, nothing selected, okay. and then you and then right click and edit a, edit a color, it should mess with it across artboards. Maybe it's not. I wonder what's happening there. Man, I am off today. <sighs> Maybe because they're not symbols or because they're grouped. Oh, we're bringing in pretty iconography as well. That's great. Now, where did you source these from? Um, these are from the uh, pre-existing files that um, I've already had. Oh, OK, had. you already had. Yeah. OK. Um, because like iconography is another sort of um, part of design as well, and it takes a lot of time to go make sure they are all are on brand and they're all of the same, you know, um, shape or the same line width, and it's um, it's very time consuming too. So it looks like you've already laid some out on the side too. Yeah, as like a reference to test point. it out. Looking good. Is there um, a way on XD where we're defining the, I guess like the the size around it? So when we drag and drop, it auto fits. Oh, like sense. you're masking basically to the element. So yeah. if you select that circle and then copy and paste in it, it should, like, so if you. Symbol. So if you click on just the circle, okay, and then paste the symbol in. Okay, so we'll cut it out, and then do we just copy and then? And then oh, yeah, there you go. That is cool. I learned something new too. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Okay, so then we're gonna do this real quick. Got some eggs in here. That's a good one for protein. We were talking about our favorite proteins yesterday, too. I think I said chicken. Chicken and eggs. Chicken, yeah. Which is like, they're weirdly related. <laughs> chicken. Oh. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. How's our names coming along? I think Namo is like, it wins. 
clowns are not allowed in the carnival challenge. I think people are like worried about that. We have 49 minutes. We have a reference. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> it's like a quick little thing. Yeah, so I'm not, I uh, have a lot of screens going on. I know, you should just pull that artboard in. They are great icons. They're really neat, like they're very representative of what you're doing. There you yeah. go. Let's be size. It's all, I think, yeah, all the elements. That's okay, this works, this yeah. works. We are getting her done. Nama is still getting love in the chat. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions for Sarah today? Feel free to Nama. jump in to the chat and let us know. Yeah, so Voodoo Val asked a really good question. Like, did anyone make a logo? You guys, we need a logo as well. Yeah. I can't have an app without a logo, you guys. Looking good. But is your go? Do you have a go-to um, meal that you like to cook and eat? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a good question. Yeah, like I we eat a lot of just like chicken breast at home that's just roasted in the oven, usually with Brussels sprouts or a big fan of cauliflower as well, too, as oh. a side. It's always like a really simple, nutritious meal to make that's easy, right? Yeah. Because the prep time is like very little. And yeah. You just throw it all in the oven just and then go do your thing. Um, I've been really into this, like you can get cauliflower stir fry, cauliflower oh. rice stir fry at Trader Joe's these days. You can throw a fried egg on top of that. It's really good. It's a fun fact. <laughs> yeah. See, udon is really good, Val, but that is like serious work oh, to throw together now. Yeah. It's a process. Yeah, lots of things involved. What is your go-to easy to cook nutritious meal? Um, easy to cook. So I do like broccoli and asparagus. So I'm probably like broccoli and asparagus yeah. are both very good as well. Um, and also, I usually uh, just get whatever's at the farmers market right. that looks like decent. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and then I don't make sushi, but <laughs> I, I love sushi, sushi every yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely had sushi for lunch yesterday. Oh, yeah. I also love the potassium um, banana thing. I feel like growing up there was some TV show that made reference to bananas being high in potassium. Oh, really? And I feel like that's how I learned it. Like maybe it was, I think maybe it was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids <laughs> or something, like some movie. Does anyone remember what I'm talking about? There is some some reference to I wouldn't be surprised if the high had potassium <laughs> and bananas. It's like someone saved the day by remembering that there was high potassium. High potassium. Wow. It's so funny. Yeah, th uh, this is like another way to like not just like if you're pregnant, but like to understand like what are the different food that has like a certain nutrient and yeah. be able to understand what you're eating and. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, there's different food apps out there that help with those things, but yeah, I think for so many of us, we're just yeah. uh, not thinking so much about the nutrients, but the overall just uh, value, like, in terms of calories and fat content and things, like those are the things we tend to focus on more. Yeah. But so it's nice that this gives like a more comprehensive breakdown. Pad or mouse? I'm actually using the track pads. I know, <laughs> track pad. Track pad life. I'm curious to know how many people uh, 
you know, in the audience use uh, trackpad for designing? Um, I'm always curious to know. Hmm. I feel like I've gotten now better at it. Before it was a huge struggle to use the trackpad, but. But you've gotten good at it. Do you find it like drives your wrist crazy after a while? Um. Actually, I've never noticed that. So I don't mm -hmm. use a lot of pressure, but um, I do, I guess I use it so much that I would not now, I, I've reached a point where I wouldn't notice the pain. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> You're even wearing a watch. Like I always find like, so I, I, I have my watch too, but like yeah. after a while, like I just like, if you you can tell I'm like really into like aggressively typing and work right. if my watch comes off. Cause yeah. I'm like, just rubs against the computer too much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there are certain times where when I'm um, very into it and very hyper focused where I'm like removing all my like um, things from my uh, jewelry from my hands and like tied my hair back up, like have a huge <laughs> You're just sort like, of yeah. yeah in the zone. Yeah, in the zone hundred <laughs> percent. So good. You have forty three minutes to go ahead and participate in today's de design challenge. Whether you choose to use a mouse or a trackpad, <laughs> it is up to you. We want you to download XD for free. There's some stock assets available. Yeah. We want to see your best three screen mobile app dedicated to a carnival. It is. It is carnival season. It is yeah. carnival season. Uh, my husband and I actually went to California's Great America oh. uh, theme park uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Where is that at? That is a good question. I just know it was about a 40 minute drive or okay. so from where we live. <laughs> <laughs> I should totally look that up. Um, um, what, what, what kind of theme park is it, I guess? So this is the funny thing. Um, is a couple of you heard this on the stream earlier, but um, I'm originally from Toronto area uh -huh. in Canada, and we have this thing called Canada's Wonderland. Oh, and it was the like go to theme park near where I grew up, and it's just like what you did in the summer, you at least made it there once, right? And sure enough, we went to this California's Great America, and it's owned by the same company, okay? So I think Six Flags. Oh, they own okay. it, okay. and the ride names are weirdly the same. Oh, really? Yeah, and the signage is the same. Oh. And it was, it was just even the layout. Like there was a They're few differences, similar. but they were, it was very similar. It was really funny because we were so far from home. But, I know, you missed and home. and the California's uh, Great America is themed. Uh, extremely patriotic. It's it's really Americana. Like there's right. red, white, and blue wrapped all over oh, wow. like the pillars of streamers and and things like that. The gardens are stars and stripes. It was so it was like hmm, this is definitely not Canada, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but the rides and things are very similar. It was a lot of fun. It was really um, it's still early in the season, so not all the rides were open. It's in Santa Clara. It's that's right, uh, Salimi. Okay. It's right across from the. 49ers stadium. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so that's where the Super Bowl was last year. Right? Right? Yeah. Was it last year? My. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure someone who watches sports in the, yeah, um, in the chat can correct me <laughs> on that. Uh, Leviathan uh, is a roller coaster at Candace Wonderland. It oh. looks like Zamfreen knows what's up. Um, there's no Leviathan at Great America. Oh, really? No. <laughs> I mean, like, not all the rides are the same, but there's, um, so it was called Drop Zone, but they renamed it. Uh, Drop zone. It's basically you know those rides that just drop oh drop you. you. Oh yeah, yeah you like free falling. They, they oh had that. Wow. They also had flight deck, which um, was formerly known as Top Gun. Oh wait, what? Yeah, because <laughs> Paramount owned both the Candace Wonderland and this Great America theme park. Right. Um, they owned both of them, and I think they sold them off to Six Flags. So they had to remove all the movie-themed branding oh, from I see, they the sold rides. It yeah, so Top sense. Gun became Flight Deck. Wow. <laughs> but it's still very, the same ride, right? 
Matthias, you want to learn UX and UI design. Ooh. Wow, there's lots of ways to get started. Um, if you're looking, we actually talked about this yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. So, we, you know, there's the, the tools, which you can get in and mess around with um, mm -hmm. for different things, including jumping into XD and participating in our design challenge today. Um, then there's the theory, mm -hmm. and there's lots of books out there you can read. We have tons of blog content if you go to the blog.adobe.com. There's tons of stuff that we've produced on UX UI. Uh, and then the the last piece we, we had talked about, so it's like theory, design, tools, and then just like general uh, visual taste, you know, like yeah. really like honing your eye for design because not only does something need to be functional, it should be beautiful too. Yeah, yeah. Easy. it's easier to consume um, content mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, if it's like really bad looking, people can often not get to the like purpose, you know. Yeah, They're just thrown off right from the beginning. We're gonna move here. And then I can make this a symbol, right? You do can I make that a symbol. Make the whole thing a symbol, yeah. So do I group it? There you oh, go. Perfection. So easy. So now if you make any edits to that symbol, it'll apply across all instances. Oh, so well, you would to you do would do it on since that is now a symbol and it's a, it's actually in your symbols library. Right. If you edit this, Let's it would apply, but you only have it in the one place. Right. But you see how it edited in your yeah. assets panel. Oh. So that's, that's the great. beauty of symbols. So actually now click on the colors panel and click edit on that pink. There you go. And now mess with that color. Oh. See, so yeah, I'm not sure why that's not updating. All is right, I will get like to the bottom of this. It's grouped, it's ungrouped, is no, that? No, I, uh, I think I'm just I'm thinking of things the wrong way. Hmm, Let's does anybody have a solution for me on this one? We're gonna get to the bottom of it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, I know um, you can do this somehow. So right now it's grouped. Let's change the color to, I don't know, like green, sure. Um, and then, so we're going to add the color to the color palette. Color palette. Okay. And then we're saying edit. Oh, oh. that's why. It's because we didn't do it, because the colors were there before right. we, like, we didn't add the colors to the color palette based yeah. on existing elements. That makes sense. There we go. We figured it out. <laughs> yeah, it's like. And I think it might be, have to be grouped too. Right. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. This is looking really good. It's really coming to life. Yeah. It's kind of like a subdued rainbow. <laughs> I, need, I still need help with colors, you guys. Um, yeah, we need colors. Jump into um, the chat and tell us, like, are you into the pink? Should we swap that out? What about blue? Yeah. What colors do you guys want to see in this app? You don't have to give us full palettes. Just, you know, throw out there what color you think should live on, and we'll take we'll take note. I personally am a fan of the pink. Yeah. But I also like the greens a lot too. There's I think those two. Okay. Two okay. should stay in. And the orange. And the orange. Orange, pink, green. Okay. Those are good ones. We gotta we gotta vote for um for green. Hues of yellow and pink. I think we're kinda nailing this actually. The color palette's not too far off. Let's try. We've got greens, hues of yellow and pink. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So only 36 minutes left to participate in that design challenge. Get in, guys, get in. Okay, so we're gonna go add some content. Oh, we got some real text. We can drop in here. See what nine weeks is saying. <laughs> All right, eating safely. How are we doing on logos? Anybody have any ideas for logos? I can pull up the one that we were given yesterday. There was somebody who was trying to submit, right? Did they get through? Did we see any other logos? Uh, 
Paco, did you want to switch to my screen quick? Want to? Yeah, I got Craig on. Oh, okay, Craig. We got we got some great guys behind the scenes. So this is the logo that we were sent yesterday. Oh yeah, which is pretty which cute, is really right? Great. Yeah. Okay. I love how the. We're open to more suggestions. I'm yeah. mostly putting this up here for inspiration, and we can figure out which we want we want to leverage for this. Yeah, you guys, get awesome. some done and then send it to us and then we can incorporate that into the app mm -hmm. and then along with the name, so. Yeah, do it. Great, we can swap back. We're seeing some entries come through. I'm getting excited, only 34 minutes left. Yeah. So great. Let's see, can I create this as a symbol? Yeah, if you right click, you should be able to. Oh, you can do it that way too. The plus line in some ways is easier. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. And then say if I were to incorporate that styling onto here, is there a yeah, way? Yeah, um, so you yeah, you basically would have, you can't, like you'll have to delete the original and then move the symbol over. Okay. But the, they're smart symbols, so you should be able to override the text on this, if you remember. So if you okay. double click on there, you should be able to edit that text and see how your other oh, instance of yeah. the symbol is, has retained. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. These are so great. Like it helps you be more, even more efficient. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got some suggestions. If we were to modify the logo that was sent, uh, we could do the little rounded O as in Nama. Oh. And then, because the, I think the concern was is that maybe Nama isn't the best name to complement that logo. Right. But th that logo might fit better with the, like, nourish oh, like, yeah. name. Oh, yeah, because it has, like, a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. We got to please our fans here. <laughs> they're really into the Nama. Yeah. So let's see what we can do. But if... Oh. Uh, Oh, that's my friend Karthika. Hey, Karthika. Hi. <laughs> that's nice. a really good suggestion. <laughs> that's good. Um, okay, let's do this. Is anybody up to um, tweak the logo or the person who submitted? I know. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can find the Dropbox yeah. link on this one. See what I can find for you guys from yesterday. Gotta check out my history here on the Dropbox situation. Okay, let's go to Adobe Stock. We're pulling in some images. Mm -hmm. We go into stock. Do we get to look together and pick stuff? Yeah. Whoa. You guys can help along here. So what's our first? Grilled broccoli. Grilled broccoli. I've never thrown broccoli on the grill before. That sounds and good. Arguella. Arguella. Let's try what we have. Oh, like arugula? Yeah. Yeah, Solid. arugula, the peppery lettuce. It's quite good. Mm. Oh. I don't have That is a pretty specific, you know, <laughs> you might actually be better. Kill the word. Oh, we have what? it though. What? <laughs> Look at this Adobe stock trying to deliver here. It looks like it's like a grilled steak versus yeah. just the straight up veg. Um, maybe no maybe remove the word grilled. I'm just do broccoli and broccoli. arugula. Let's see try. See what kind of results that yield. If you guys want to search stock with us, oh. you're welcome to. Got We're open to your suggestions. Okay, we're just going to use something. Do you see anything that's 
Interesting. That's kind of like a grilled broccoli and arugula. I mean, I think we can like roughly yeah, like, get there. Yeah. Like maybe we just look at the sort of, like, I mean, this looks like a beautiful photo. Right. But I guess whatever you do, you want it to be fairly consistent. Yeah, so, so it's like more Like, I mean, closer, it, you know, that like. the thinking about the colors in the app, like maybe a cleaner white background mm -hmm. is actually the way to go. Um, otherwise, we just want to get consistent. One thing you can do too is like once you find one you like, like that one's actually kind of nice too. Oh yeah. It's if you click on it, um, any of these photos, you can either click on the username or you can see more from the series. So, you know, ideally you would have a bunch of photos from the same contributor. Oh, so the or, style so the, is different. Yeah, because okay. the filters can be so different, right? Like that they're using. Yeah, um, to find similar. Yes, yeah, so that would be yeah. similar in terms of like the subject matter, but if you right. click on the more from the series or um, or the actual contributor name, you'll get similar photos generally. So let's try that. So if you go down, see it says more from this series. There you go. That should take you there. Nope. There we go. So you can see they're like the backgrounds are yeah, similar. similar. The the, the angle too. as well and how they're framing their mm -hmm. is really great. So you can have like more consistent. Cool. Let's pick something real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so like I, sometimes I feel like whenever I have to pick stock photography I spend like an inordinate amount of time yeah, like, of all the things you need to do in a design or yeah. even you know I could and write a whole like, blog post yeah. and then spend twice as long looking for a stock image to support it you kind of like de get derailed as well mm -hmm. and it's like that's another like oh I like this versus that and it's like, yeah it's so. not even for a lack of options it's yeah. almost like there's just so many like photos you're like hmm yeah do I want it this way or that way and you know while all the filters are there the tools you can get really precise with searching yeah it's but just, half of it is just knowing what you want going in yeah and being very clear on it let's, for the purpose of this exercise let's um is there a way I could drag so if you're logged in um, I see. Okay. So if you're logged into stock right now, which I, you are. Yeah. Okay. And you're logged into the same account on XD. It's the same yeah, login. I think so, yeah. So technically, you can uh, save a preview to your library. So right, see this button right there? Oh. And so that's just going to go to, you have a library called My Library, which right. is just kind of a catch-all. Mm -hmm. But if you go to XD, and you're on the internet here, okay, and you go view... Uh, wait, sorry, go over window. Where are your libraries? Hmm, file. Open CC libraries, there it is. I was like, where is yeah. this? Okay, so there's your library. It should sync. It looks like there's a little error there. Unable to connect uh, to server. Okay. Are you on the internet here? Yeah. Huh. Uh, WS, yeah. Try that Let's one more time. Yeah, what's going on there? Shoes. Yeah, seriously. Um, is there a way I could drag and drop onto the? I don't know if it'll yeah. let you do okay. that from stock. Um, if you, because hmm. theory theoretically that we should be synced up here. Under. Mm. Are you are you actually logged into the internet for sure? Because sometimes yeah, our guest says, network you. It's just okay. a different case. All right. <laughs> Unless there's like another. There is a login credentials for the guest network. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm on it. <laughs> okay. Who knows what's going on, guys? That's all right. Not to worry. Um, okay. we'll you could also this. just save, yeah, just download our preview. We'll do this the traditional way. Um, where did it go? All right. Perfect. We have 25 minutes left for you guys to participate in our design challenge. Go check out the challenge tab at the top of the chat. You can win a great prize. We are looking for three screens of a mobile app um, that's carnival themed. It is carnival season. Yeah. Want to see your fun, happy creations 
Um, someone in the chat said no clowns allowed, but I'm allowing clowns. <laughs> I'm allowing clowns. <laughs> Mostly for entertainment it's value. value. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I hope you guys are messing with the logo. I'm looking for different things. Oh, that's an interesting question. Does guest prohibit? Mm, the guest Wi-Fi? Maybe. 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 Who knows? <laughs> um, So what are we looking for now? Are we still in the salad we're, photo? Or? We're on now um, kale, t spicy Tuscan kale salad. But spicy Tuscan kale yeah. salad. We're gonna just grab, let's just grab this one here. And then we can always come back and edit these photos. We got some things. We got some pretty photos in there. It's looking good. It's very clean and modern looking. Yeah. It's good placeholder stuff. So we're going to go add in some of Oops. Okay, so let's make them all symbols. There we go. This is good. Is there a shortcut for adding it to symbols? So if you right click on, so see how it says right click and you can see it says make symbol. So it's command K. Command K, okay. Yeah. We're gonna, are we still pulling in additional stock assets, do you think? Or? Yeah. Okay, so we have one other Wi-Fi thing to try. Okay. We're just gonna, why doesn't Craig switch over to my screen for just one moment? We're gonna work on something yep. quickly over here. Um, to see if we can get some magical technical support here. All right, we're gonna well, again flip back try. over to your screen. And why don't we actually go to XD for a minute? Okay. And we'll go back to our libraries if we can, do we have that still open? So file, open, open CC. CC libraries. And we'll click on that little cloud button one more time. Still no server, interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. We might have to. Oh, that's oh. You know what? If we go up to your Creative Cloud account with that red dot. Oh, yes. Sign on, sign back in. No, just appreciations. Okay, click on your thing. We're gonna do some live technical. <laughs> we'll get you to sign out there. Oh God. We'll sign back in. Might not Doing remember my password. Okay, don't do that then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. We're gonna do things the old old fashioned way. Totally cool. Not to worry. <laughs> so we're good. We don't wanna yeah. Sign it's up. fine, guys. We tried, we tried. <laughs> we're having some internet issues. That's what's up. It happens to the best it's, of us. It's part of life. Not live, unless that stuff happens. Yeah, this is this is part of our like, the live stream <laughs> life, you know. <laughs> Things can only go wrong if you have witnesses, right? That's how it is. Right. It's like that whole analogy of if a tree falls in the forest, like, does it make a sound if you're oh, there to hear right. it? Yeah, it's that's like, true. Well. Uh, Dean, if you're having some technical issues, be sure to uh, hit us up on social. You can message us on Facebook or on Twitter and we will get you some support. I feel like I need to like <laughs> hit that up right now. We just want to like keep designing, keep designing and not uh, have you guys check this out. So all good. So we've got, we're creating symbols with our beautiful icons. Yeah. So really, well, feel, I'm feeling good about these colors. Do you guys agree? Are you into these colors? I don't. I don't know if we need to change them. Do you feel like? 
I'm I, I'm open for suggestions. Um, but you know, if if you guys, it's a great opportunity to get some your colors, your ideas in, so we can see how that works. So we can we can always work back. So can we'll I get, get some... a yay for the colors <laughs> or a nay for the colors? That's what we need. And if it's a nay, we would love to know what you'd like to see. Yeah. Can you believe there's only 19 minutes left till the challenge? Oh my God, really? Wow, we are flying by. Wow. We've been chatting away here with all these UX UI best practices, <laughs> finding stock imagery, laying out icons. <laughs> It's really looking good. Coming together. Learning some shortcuts, which is always good. Ooh, and now it is fresh. It's fresh. It's fresh. So fresh. <laughs> so clean. People are digging it. We're in oh, the colors. Yeah. We're in the colors. Bravo. How are you guys? Bravo. Yes. How did we had anybody modify or play with that logo file? Yeah, that's we could be drop great. that into chat again as like a refresher. Perhaps. Is that possible? Yeah, I yeah. think so. I think I know a guy, maybe. Maybe he'll deliver once more. <laughs> Maybe we can get some uh, modifications to that uh, logo. Yeah, we can tweak that up, add some pretty color to it. Be all set. I feel like I'm healthier just by looking at this <laughs> app, you know? It's making me hungry. Lala, we appreciate your efforts. You don't need to be talented in Illustrator to try. <laughs> it's a pretty easy we, tool. We feel you're, you're caring from afar. Uh, the assets oh. panel on the left can be found in the bottom corner. How can I add the asset panels on the left? Yeah, so oh. this is the, the assets yeah. panel is what's showing. On the left. Here. Yeah, there's like a little small icon in the bottom corner. So you see the one's layers and one is uh, assets. Assets. Yeah. So we click on that and then. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. And then these are layers, and you can go in and see all your layers, and then you can also name your layers so it's easier for you to. We got a lot of layers going yeah. on. We'll just not look at those right now. <laughs> I feel like if your assets panel is like organized, you're pretty good. Yeah. Developing layers in XD was neat because we kind of changed up how layers are handled versus Photoshop. Right. Um, but, you know, there was a question at one point in developing this. We were like, do we need layers? Like, yeah. You know, and that was where the whole user research came in and we got feedback from the community and ultimately we input a version yeah. of layers. Did people want, like, did designers want layers in They there? did, okay. yeah. I think yeah. the other thing is that there's like a level of familiarity with yeah. working in a layers based system. Yeah. Um, you can also open Photoshop files in XD now. Oh, so cool. with the support of layers, that's also helpful, right? You can open up sketch files and XD files, yeah. uh, or, and sorry, PSD files, PSD files, right, in XD as if they were native. So for those of you that have old uh, design files that you've been you've developed in other programs like Photoshop or Sketch, you can open them right in the application and, and modify them. Let's go in and add that. Can we size them together? Ooh. One of the things that may be helpful here is that's where you where you can get the finite resizing. There you go. So if you you, I think you've both selected. If you just select one. Oh, it's on, it's in, oh. Hmm. Oops. That's just the arc, your X and Y values. Is it the type of selection you have on that right now? There we go, because you're resizing it. There you go. Because mm, okay. your symbol is at a divine size. Right. Yeah. It's just, oh. So I it can have be. To do. It, it should be able. To, you should be able to keep it grouped. It just can't be. There we go. There. Oh. oh. Is it grouped? Yeah. Should it not be grouped? No. It should. It should be okay. Okay. Both selected. Yes. Can I? Oh, oh go into the. 
go and see the the leaf is a symbol as well. That's part of the problem. See how it has that green border on it? Oh, it shouldn't so, be a symbol. Right. Yeah, because mm. you have really the symbol is the icon. Right. And so you have a symbol nested in a symbol. Right. If that okay. makes sense. Cool. Uh, the other way you can do that is you can delete the 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 leaf of in your symbols panel. Like you can right click and delete. There you go. Let's see if that solves your problem. Can I just copy, paste? So and that is still a symbol because you have it as a full, oh. right, which is fine because you can just. It can still um, remain grouped. I see. Okay. Okay. Let's just. We'll get there. We'll yeah. get there. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> I think it was because you had a symbol within a symbol. Probably, And then yeah. you were trying to shrink it. But <laughs> if you have a symbol, you can just shrink it. Let's try that. We'll get there, guys. We're adding in colors and all sorts so of things. coming to life now. Yeah, it's true. We still need a name and a logo, you guys. I think, I think we have a name. I think we need to, the, the logo. We do need a logo. We got someone, we got Lala playing an illustrator. Is anyone else playing around? We only have 13 minutes left to get your designs in for the design challenge. Oh, okay, <laughs> Lala, we appreciate the effort. It's oh, all good. Thank you for trying. All good, that's all right. Uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll have some sort of logo sorted out for you folks tomorrow. You gotta get your designs in though. We have, you know, the odds are looking really good. Get your, get your designs in. Am I liking this orange? Yeah. It's really coming together. The great thing is these icons really show off what is in the recipes, like what nutrients are represented. Mm -hmm. So we can repeat grid that, which would have made sense. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying excuses now to like use to repeat, use repeat grid. <laughs> cool. Oops. I think my PC does need more stickers. There's still some silver showing. There's still room. I tried to be as organized and strategic as possible in the layout, but yeah. This this was a big sticker that's like totally worn off. Oh. It, it said, uh, and you can see like there's a theme here. Most of these stickers are XD, like almost all of oh, them. Yeah. Like those are the like these are the wires from the application that's like the most faint sticker. Oh, and this so said cool. um, Adobe XD Trello and uh, oh, right, yeah. Slack. Slack, yeah. Yeah, but it's like, in the sticker did say that, so it's like the three things you have, oh, you, you need yeah. that work. And then... Um, I really like the Adobe Slack. XD, um, the black sticker all the way in the corner. Like this one? bowl, yeah. So these are, for those that are like rock, or metal enthusiasts, right, enthusiasts. they'll oh. start to recognize. Those are so cool. These. these are, again, we don't widely distribute these. These are so fun. <laughs> Tony thinks I'm a monster. <laughs> I guess it depends on the kind of stickers you're putting on your computer. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, Lala's suggestion. Maybe one of the colors used on these icons. Oh, um, it's a um, nom logo uh, for a yeah. nom mama. That's really... Great suggestion, thank you. That is Lala. a good one. Can I just pull up this logo again? Got this logo in here. We're gonna get into the path of this. I wonder, so we're, we've got the baby head that looks like an O in the logo. Oh yeah. Was the suggestion to make the 
the, I think the mother's head also round? Oh, uh, I think maybe I, the entire thing to be around? Was that the, cause yeah, we, that was the, she could sort of be curved a little more. Her face. Like make her like yeah. more like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you like that demonstration? Yeah. <laughs> See, like, got it. I think the suggestion is to uh, overlay Nama with the O as the baby had. Yeah, still stuck within a layer. No magic mouse. <laughs> Oh, my illustrator's out of date, guys. Oh, Zamborine says, I was thinking the chin would look better around as well. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm putting out a really rough version of I think what you guys are suggesting of the Nomo. Obviously not this typeface, it's terrible. Well it's not terrible, it's just terrible for this application. Like oh that. yeah. I kinda like that. That's the I think the suggestion from Lala. Should we that's pretty cool. I think we need our hair to be more wrapped. So like it covers the text. So. Yeah, so it's like it doesn't like not to yeah. overlay. Yeah. And shrink the baby head yeah. a little bit. So yeah, there's there's this so could be worked with. Yeah. This is why we have the best viewers. <laughs> Truly. Oops. All right, we have just over seven minutes oh, wow. left to participate in that design challenge. Be sure to get your entries in. I'm excited to review these. making headway over here, these recipes. So the plan here is now that you've, you're fleshing out this card, you're gonna use a repeat grid to fill out the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Might be worth making that card into a symbol as well. Oh, like the whole thing. thing. Let's try that. That so. way, you know, even though you're repeat, repeat gridded, if you go back and make any tweaks to it, right. it'll update across your I see, so we're boards. gonna make a symbol here. And then repeat grid. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So exciting. Looks good. You just have to tweak that padding, I think. Yeah. I just wanted to say oh, that, looks, that looks really oh, good. Here. That's all. It looks yeah, fantastic. Special fan dropping by. Yeah. Look at yeah. this guy. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> you might have recognized that guy, Paul Tranny, oh. designer, evangelist extraordinaire. <laughs> In so we can go find the imagery later. That works. We got we got some highs for Paul, oh. but he's gone. He left, guys. He was he here. Back. Yeah, in he's and out. <laughs> this is a, the kind of people you bump into at the Adobe office in San Francisco. Although Paul is based in Colorado, so he's not here all the time. He's somewhere in the world. He's like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego <laughs> kind of thing. Forever traveling. Mm -hmm. There's another throwback for you guys. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, oh, Carmen San Diego. Yeah. It's true. We need to get someone on here to do like uh, a throwback app. It's just oh, a, a roundup so of great. like the, I don't know. I don't even know. What app concept would that be? <laughs> I feel like we need to get James White, aka Signal Noise, in here doing that. He loves the 80s retro design. Oh. He does way more graphic design, though. We need to get him using XD and get him in here. Do a throwback app. Paul says, change the text colors. For oh, you didn't like that bright red that I selected? 
<laughs> oh, did we show it on the? I did. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. No, that was just a placeholder. <laughs> I was, I was just like something that isn't white or black, yeah. so it would stand out. But yeah, no, we would definitely <laughs> the, the font would be changed. Everything that logo needs yeah. that logo needs work. But, yeah. Um, not that it isn't beautiful as it is, but if we were to modify it and overlay text and things like that, you would definitely need to make some tweaks. Yeah. minutes left to get your entries in finish them up send them through we want to check your stuff out in no time cool. this is looking good yeah so is there let's see make symbol oh I see So now you're just mixing up some of the nutrients. Mm -hmm. So that way, because every recipe has different nutrients yeah. and to really like show an app that makes sense. Oh, we gotta be careful here. Remember you have to double click because it's, uh, since it is uh, a symbol, right. there you go. You wanna isolate the instance. Oh, it's still not. Let's see, I want to break the... So the... Because the whole thing is a symbol, so this whole block. Right. So we want to make that, like, unbreak the link to the... So there's, there should be a way actually to. Yeah, I'm just thinking it's the way of like what's being selected. So ungroup symbol and then click on the item. There oh. we go. That's what it is. Mark is asking, how do you submit a logo? Oh, people were uploading them to Dropbox and then just putting a link. You could also upload it to Creative Cloud Files and you can create a public sharing link and drop that into the chat as well. Cool. Oh, I'm seeing a bunch of submissions come through. Only a minute and 20 seconds to get your challenge submissions in to win. Also, if you have any last minute burning questions for Miss Sarah, uh, now is the time. We're getting lots of imagery and colors and today this app is starting to look really beautiful. <laughs> Lala, I appreciate your commitment to trying to figure oh. out this logo. <laughs> this is amazing. She's doing it. Forty-three seconds. Woohoo! Almost there. I know. I feel like we need to do like a New Year's style countdown right? towards the Can last the ten seconds. The drum roll. Drum roll. The drum roll. <laughs> the drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> I am a big fan of the chat and wind drum roll that we do. Oh. 
Well, I don't. Yeah. I think like I think we, we did, do yeah. it, but I don't know. This isn't. Do we like, need a new one? It's not for protocol. It. <laughs> it's not protocol. Um, ten seconds. Get her in. Guys, get it in. Come on. Submit. Submit. Three, two, one. Eh. We'll be looking at those in just a couple minutes. Get all your entries in and sorted. They can make their way to me and the lovely Sarah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Look at these nutritional icons. <laughs> it's making me really hungry. I mean, it does look very tasty, like, you know. We're doing well, We've got lots of stuff going. So now that we're, we'll get a lot of the imagery and things in today, the plan tomorrow will be to like finish that up, get mm -hmm. some wires going so we can see what a prototype looks like. Yeah. If we have time, we might like even foray into the world of de uh, developer specs or design specs yep. for handoff to a developer so you can get a look at what that might, that might look like. like. Yeah, we know that the whole designing in such a short period of time is, yeah, like, is a lot to ask. We are not expecting the best work of your <laughs> life here. We're just looking for stuff to evaluate, so not to worry. All right. And get ready to start looking at your entries. look in just a minute how are we doing over here Good. what are we thinking do we want to take a quick look at everything we've done so far sure I mean if you want to finish that that language <laughs> speak, that's fine but we can let me update this really quickly. okay I'll put in some names of some hot yeah, dishes broccoli. broccoli salad put the avocado it's the avocado mm -hmm. That does sound healthy. High in nutritional value. <laughs> Got all the things. Excited to dig in on these contest entries. I think uh, I feel like the contest entries are the those you guys have submitted are you're being so hard on yourselves. I'm sure this is great. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and look over at these entries now. Yeah. All right, so we've got this first one, Ooh. watermelon. Nothing. That's a, that's very summery. Yeah, it's very good. Ooh, beachside carnival. That sounds like, like a carnival I want to go to. Got events and directions. This is great. Yeah, that makes sense. Day one, a game of piglets. <laughs> game of piglets. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a super fun match between train piglets. <laughs> so funny and I also like that there's a definition of what Lauren Ipsum is <laughs> as the, the text. It's super fun. It's good. Also I appreciate it. really creative, it. yeah. Yeah, I appreciate this. It's cute. Ooh, it's a good right. one. Oh, oh, this wow. is more like Carnival. Yeah. I see a lot That's of so energy good. going on there. Mardi Gras style. <laughs> love it. I love the logo. 
the the icons and stuff. Very cute. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. There's a photo feed. Adobe Carnival Party oh. was dope. Woo. <laughs> Adobe. That's really cute. Oh, that's I love all nice. the shout outs oh to Adobe. Gosh, that's so great. I hope we have a carnival party. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, I like this one. Welcome to Versailles Ooh, Carnival. carnival. Whoa. This like you can really like this is commitment to a theme. It's kinda like that neon poster yeah. vibe and it's like it's a wild, lot of energy right? too. I'm assuming like you'd be able to tap on a lot of this stuff and, and get things. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really playful. Yeah, this looks like a sweet yeah. sort of poster vibe. This is really great. Wow. And then oh, duck. duck <laughs> Is that part of the? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We got we didn't get three screens here. We got seventeen. Oh wow! Yeah, look at the surprise! Jeez. Surprise! <laughs> Fun fair, floats, parade, animations, clowns, jugglers, marching the queen of marching band. By a passport. Yeah. This is cool. I love all the visuals and the color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It makes it more um, carnival-y. Since like today's the day of uh, throwbacks, do you remember Bop It? Like the like lettering with the big O. Oh, and right, stuff. yeah. It reminds me of that. These are some great imagery. All the things these that are, are happening so at cool. the carnival. Ooh, yeah, these so are all. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. OK, cool. That's fun. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is also so Ooh, cute. Ooh, I like the, the Ferris wheel, Essie. Mm -hmm. Aw. Ooh, food. It's really cool. A lot of food. Wait, does this scroll? I always need to oh, check. Yeah. Okay. And I oh, yeah. Oh, they have the like navigation at the bottom. That's so cute. Okay, this is really good. Ooh. Attractions. All right. I like the yeah the, the ticket. Tickets. That's yeah. really really. I noticed incredible. that they also had it as like let's get started at the initial like mm -hmm. the beginning of the app. Adobe Carnival. Oh, so this is actually using the Navigo um, Transport UI kit. Oh, for sure. All right. This is so good. Interesting. <clears throat> cool. Your schedule. One more. Ooh, this Gasparilla is also very cool. Festival, Tampa, Florida. I like the great. like subtle gradient on yeah. that. You know, it's really like sunshiny. Yes, about <laughs> with the boffin just if it pull it. <laughs> so good. Day pass, weekly pass. Does it scroll or? Oh no, no. Okay. Food have been planned. Uh, watermelon image at work again. Plan your day. Funnel cake, classic. Food. I love the colors in here. I really love this uh, it's gradient. Great it's a splash beautiful. green. It's the last one. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Nouveau, Nouveau Cirque. Cirque. Wheel of Fortune, Ferris Wheel. This is so great. Very fun. All right, I'm going to quickly run through them. So we got the Beachside, Beachside Carnival, Carnival, the Summer Carnival, the Versailles. Um, go to the beginning, the regular Carnival. The, the Adobe one, Adobe one, the Gasparilla, Gasparilla Festival, <coughs> and then we have this one. These are so great. Nouveau Cirque. Mm, All right. This, this is going to be hard. I think we're going to close this one, yeah? Yeah. All right. Sounds pretty good. Um, I would have liked to see Adobe a little bit more color. originality here. Yeah, and a little more color because like carnivals are like bright Playful. and vibrant. Yeah, so. so really good though. It's like great to see people yeah. going in and using the UI kits as well. Um, the beach type carnival is good as well. Like the watermelon, the piglets it's very, is pretty yeah. cute. Um, this one is great. This one, yeah. Got a lot of. I love screens. the imagery. So what are we thinking? I know, like, uh, I've, I I think I want to shortlist this one. Yeah. And I think this one is probably also shortlisted for me. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, can I look at the summer fest real quick? This one, or no, should the, we close the, this one? Yeah. Okay. Very good. And then this one? Um, I think we can close Close that one. Yeah. Okay. So we're, really great. we're getting down. We've got the beachside carnival. We have the summer carnival. Yeah. And, and then, so we'll look at that one more time. We have this carnival. Food, I love the, like the food map. menu is very cute. I love the 
image of the couple as well. Yeah, it's true. The <laughs> photos are great. Yeah. And the tickets and the are tickets. beautiful. Tickets. Um, and then Adobe. Okay. I, I, I think really we're gonna let the beachside carnival go. Yeah. Okay. So we're between these two. Tip. I think they captured the spirit yeah. of the carnival. <laughs> yeah. The colors are bright. The colors, the uh, imagery, just is so great. Really um, well done. I like this one. Yeah. Um. The previous one. This is this is the winner winner. Yeah. Okay. I love, it. I love how the. It, it, it feels like a lot of energy like the minute I see it, so it's really great and it's clean. Nice. Yeah. They're both, you know, honestly, They're this so was hard. Yeah. This is really great, guys. We yeah. appreciate all of your submissions. Yeah. But I think the Summer Carnival 2018 edition gets started yeah. is our winner winner. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> was is the, the winner today and um, I believe that was done by, I'm uh, just checking the G name, Gustavo, Gustavo Lima. Lima. Ooh, yes. congratulations. Nice, congrats, congrats. Gustavo. Awesome. Amazing. That's so great. All right, let's see, we still have a few more minutes so we can like cool. continue adding some imagery and things. Thank you to everyone who participated though. We had some really great ones to look through. Man, it makes me wanna, go and do a summer carnival thing again. Maybe Great America wasn't enough. Ugh. I need to go back and take advantage of all the rides they have there. So good. So we're getting all of our nutrition nutrition yeah. icons sorted. The one yeah. thing is, is now you can make, you can take these little ones too and make them symbols, although I think we can, there is a way to copy and paste the symbol instances and resize them. Oh, really? Yeah, I think, I'm not sure what, what's happening there. There is a more efficient way of doing this, so. But, whatever gets the job done, right? Yeah. So, totally works. Oh, we have another logo suggestion. Hang Ooh. on, let me see what I can pull up. You can keep tweaking, it'll be a couple minutes. All right, if we wanna flip to my screen quick, we can take a look. We got Ooh. the Noma logo. I like how the things are off to the side and the yeah. nutrition is covered. And then this looks really good. I like also how they kind of make the arms, it looks like a heart. Yeah, I was just about to say, it nice. looks like a heart. Mm -hmm. It's really great. Yeah, this oh, there are well. options. Couple options. Definitely appreciate this, this is awesome. Yeah fits the color scheme. I can see how you can, yeah. they pulled in the image. Yeah, I was just gonna shot say. to like it's really ca great. capture yeah. the imagery. That's very Being consistent, well this is really great. Great, thank you. All right. Oh. We, got, we got a couple options to choose from now. Yeah. Maybe we can come up with a bit of a hybrid. I like that there was a play off the wheat. I think you have it in as carbohydrates in there as the nutritional value. <laughs> I love when people contribute. That's yeah. so great. It's so good. It's nice to work with you. Yeah, all I think Adobe Stock too. Yeah, that's great. Mark does such a great job. Yeah, way to leverage it. All the assets that you can get. That's great. Yeah, that's great. If you guys have any questions for Sarah, feel free to jump in the chat and let us know. I feel like we asked you a million questions <laughs> yesterday. We got them all out. Yeah. You tell us about everything about you and what you do. So great. So this app, we know we've talked about how it was a larger app. It was something you worked on in mm -hmm. a, a former job. And yeah. 
So we're, we're recreating this, but the original app was done fully in Mandarin. Yeah. So we're actually redesigning this uh, with different cultural considerations. Yeah. Um, which, you know, we had talked about, like from a design perspective, it's actually quite different. Um, yeah. From so like, the original project. Yeah. Cause like culturally, uh, it, it, you know, how when we're developing an app, like you, it's very different how we develop here versus like what the demographic is and like just there's so many different factors and there's just so many different audiences as well so um cultural factor is also a huge way it's an important thing um as we go and build apps um how they consume content how they consume visuals how they consume color um in certain um aspects of you know when we created the original app it was just that they liked bright colors they loved uh heavy visual heavy content mm -hmm. um and that's easier for them and to consume certain information versus we like everything minimalistic or clean and you know there's a lot of different design systems um and guidelines as we go through and build like these apps and web-based products but um, it was very, uh, it was very interesting. I learned uh, maybe a word or two of Mandarin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, That's fair enough. Good. So um, great. One of the, I think one of the the challenges was that when we're um, when we have content nailed down, because like first, you know, you have Lorem Ipsum trying to figure out what the mm -hmm. content is, and then when we go in and incorporate content, and then we're having a translator translate that content. It it's it's interesting because like. A paragraph, you know, in uh, English translate in, translates into like twenty lines. So you're right. there's a lot of you know real estate adjustment like within the screen when you're designing a lot of formatting um, changes as well, and that impacts the design mm -hmm, in a mm -hmm. holistic way. So it is yeah, because the Mandarin character is actually in yeah. many words, whereas uh, English it's, it, it's, yeah. it's much longer. It's funny because as a Canadian too, I, I had to work for a number of different organizations that translated a lot of the content I was developing. And even when I, in my early career, I was doing print work, like yeah. a lot of brochures and things that had to be fully bilingual. And so you would lay out the English text, yeah. but the French is actually often one and a half times longer. Yep. So it was, you had to, to somehow find this elegant solution where you had to have a fully bilingual bilingual for sure but yeah it is the a, same content but one happens to be twice as long so well, yeah. one and a half times as long <laughs> so yeah it is always challenging and you, know, you have to like side by side um have these content and then see how structurally they change also but it's and great you look back on it and i'm like oh <laughs> So many cringeworthy uh, design decisions were made back then in my, it's a learning in my youth. <laughs> yes. It's pretty wild, yeah, definitely things. Lala's like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> uh, yeah, understandable. <laughs> yeah. We didn't miss any more links to other logos to look at, did we? If so, drop it in the chat again and we'll pull her up. We've been so lucky. We've gotten so many great entries. And yeah, names for uh, the app. Yeah, well. Noma is great. I think we've nailed the colors. Everybody seems to be like supportive of the colors. You're yeah, feeling good about them. the colors, yeah. Yeah, you're feeling good. Yeah. Yeah, great. I mean, some of the blue and stuff is still placeholders yes. from the Wires UI kit. So have we'll see those updated. All updated. There's a little shrimp. <laughs> is that for seafood? Yeah, no, high on oh. iodine. So. Got it. It's, yeah, because I guess, like, um, you never really think about how you need that nutrient. There's mm -hmm. just, you know what? The more you know. <laughs> Knowledge is wealth. <laughs> Catching up on all the chat conversation. <laughs> Looks like Lala and Ravi are... Having, oh, having quite the conversation, conversation. <laughs> getting into it. <laughs> As a awesome. illustrator. <laughs> yeah. Is 
it's neat how you're listing the nutrients too. So we have, you know, sometimes iconography isn't always the most um, clear thing. Like I said, I was like, oh, that's a shrimp. And you're like, oh, it's actually iodine. Yeah. But you're going and writing out the mm -hmm. nutrients as well. So you have two reference points. And if so, if one isn't totally clear, you have it at least written out so you you have that. Yeah. Just to help with that user experience. It's more like a visual aid if like, mm -hmm. and then as you, you know, use the app, you kind of you start know. to match it up. Pink means iodine. The yellow is calcium. What's going on here? I feel less bad about my love of cheese knowing I'm getting some vitamin D. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good guess. So good. How did they get outlined? There we go. You guys, we have a few minutes left on the string room again. Now is the time. Any questions for Sarah? Get into it. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it's a good conversation. Yeah. And I talk about, I think like when we think about XD and what we use it for, I think at the end of the day, we want our users to use the tool that makes most sense for the job that needs to be done for them and whatever they're most comfortable with. So if Illustrator is your jam, jam away. There is a pretty seamless workflow with libraries when your inter internet's cooperating. <laughs> um, so we'll that normally dating. makes it a little easier. It's a bit of a simplified tool set too, right? It's a very purpose-driven tool when we look at something like XD, whereas Photoshop, Illustrator, um, they cover a wide array of use cases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thing is, is if you have an all-app subscription, you have everything, so. Yeah, which is might really as well. great. And if you don't, you can just get XD for free, so that's even better. <laughs> it's a great, great uh, tool to get started with if you're learning just because you can download it for free and mess around and see where it takes you. Oh, fun fact. Um, Noma means cool in Swahili slang. Oh, so, we learned something new today. Well, this app's pretty cool. <laughs> so, Also, Noma, I think, is also a light, like Noma, but with one M, not yeah. two. Yeah. Is like, I think, a lighting brand. Oh, really? I remember getting like Noma Christmas lights and things growing up. But our app is going to be called, I mean, Nama. Nama, yeah. With the extra M. M totally yeah. different. And we don't also have to opt for all caps either. Yeah. We could be, mm -hmm. we could do low, all, I, you know, all lowercase with the yeah, rounded there's end. So many different. Now it would look very nice. How are we feeling about the font choices? Are we are we sticking with that? What do we have? What are we using here? So right now we're using. So if you actually go to your assets panel and scroll up. Oops. So you have some text selected. If you click plus on the character styles, oh, it gets it'll give us. Oh, so we are we using the SF, SF font. So this is like the Apple yeah. defaults. Got it. Having a lot of healthy tool conversation. Which is <laughs> good. Yeah, it is good. The other thing too is is like we I mentioned this before on the stream, but we're here to design a tool that makes sense for you and for the future. So if you have feature suggestions, uh, things you'd like to see or things that make, could make your workflows easier, jump on over to User Voice. That's adobexd.uservoice.com. You can go ahead again and request features and upvote existing feature requests, track feature progress. It's a great place to go. Okay, we are in our last minute, so why don't we stop here? Yeah. We'll do a full zoom out of what we've worked on today. Um, for those that of you that were have been following us right from the beginning, we had some pretty naked artboards, if you will. <laughs> yeah. And now we have color, we have some imagery, we have real text. Um, so tomorrow we are covering 
more of this? Yeah, I think we'll um, wrap this up and then uh, we're gonna add in um, logos and name and onboarding real quick. Um, and then we'll, we can go through like the prototype of it and then see how that is. And then if we have time, uh, we can um, do a um, quick, the diabetes app, we can wireframe it out and then see that also as a prototype. We'll, we'll mm -hmm. at least get a few wires in there so you yeah. guys get a, a feel for the prototyping. Yeah. At least like get the content in and like, yeah will be set. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you to everyone for tuning in today. It was a blast. It was yeah, so it was great so seeing fun. all of your <laughs> carnival themed entries. We will be back tomorrow again from one to three to cover all of the things Sarah just talked about and then probably some more. Um, we also have portfolio reviews tomorrow. Exciting. We'll have another chat and win giveaway. Lots of things to tune in for. So yeah. we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.